All right, so this video is going to be an introduction into infinite series, all right? The last couple of videos, we've been focusing on infinite sequences, and now it's time to move on to infinite series. So before we even start talking all about infinite series, we need to discuss what the difference is between a sequence and a series. So a sequence is a comma separated list of terms, okay? So you'll get a sub one, comma, a sub two, comma, a sub three, a sub four, right? But a series is these terms now added together, okay? A sub one plus a sub two plus a sub three plus a sub four, okay? That's the difference. With a series, now you're adding these numbers up, okay? And what we're trying to do now, okay, because you've dealt with series and sequences before, probably in high school, okay, they were always finite. But just as we made sequences infinite, okay, and went on and on and on here, we're going to go on and on and on with series as well, okay? And we're going to try to find the sum of an infinite series. Now, this may seem like an insane concept. How can you take the sum of an infinite number of terms and expect it to be anything other than infinite, okay? So, it can happen, and we've been doing it with improper integrals, okay? We can bring up the integral one uh, from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx. We found that to be equal to 1, right? It was convergent, meaning it had a finite answer, okay? You can, I'll just kind of rush our way through these definitions here because we've already learned these, but just to reinstate this, to be convergent is to have a finite answer. And for a series or integral, whatever, to be divergent means it has an infinite answer, okay? <clears throat> so that's what we mean when we say those terms right there, okay? So first off, let's look at this series, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. Now this is obviously divergent, right? It obviously goes off into infinity. You can see that it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And all those terms are getting added together. There, yeah, there's no way that that's not divergent, okay? But look at something different, okay? Look at the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over 10 to the n, okay? If you start writing out terms, okay, and putting that in a series, Okay, you get, well, 10 to the first power, right? And that's over, that's under 1. So that's going to be 0 0.1 plus 1 over 10 to the second power, which is going to be 0 0.01. And I can keep going here for a little bit. Okay, and you can see that this is actually going to converge because all we're doing is we're just adding ones, okay? This is just continuous ones, and it's going to go on and on, okay? This converges to 0 0.1 repeating, okay? You can see that. Every term, you're just adding a one into the place over, and it's not going to get any bigger than this, okay? This is as far as it can go, 0 0.1 repeating, all right? It can't get any bigger, right? This can never be, this whole series can never add up to be 0 0.2 because all these numbers added up together are not going to be enough to change this one right here to a 2, okay? And, you know, that's kind of, it's hard to grasp at first, but, you know, you kind of got to stare at it for a little while and make it make sense for you, okay? Because, it, you know, it's different for every person how they can take this information. I know at first I was like, there's no, no way not possible, right? It doesn't make sense, but I wanted to at least make sure that you were comfortable with this concept before we actually move on to what we're really going to be doing in infinite series, all right? So I will see you in the next video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!